Well, good morning and welcome to the Morning Report. The Morning Report is a production of FightBackMedia.com, 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 and FightBackMediaTV.com. We are thrilled that you are here today. It is a sunny so far uh, Thursday here in West Central Florida. Uh, it rained south of us. I think it rained north of us. It rained everywhere but on top of us. Uh, so things are still rather dry. But um, praise the Lord, it'll rain. Hey, listen, um, a couple of days ago, um, the Hunter Biden uh, trial that had to do with gun charges, federal gun charges, um, concluded with a conviction on three counts for the president's son, Hunter. Um, a little bit before, before we get into it, uh, it is well documented that, um, that Hunter has had problems with substance abuse. And um, that's led him down a pretty dark path in his life. And frankly, that's all really sad. Um, it, did, it didn't help um, when his brother died of brain cancer. Right? His brother didn't die in Iraq. His brother, his brother died in, uh, with, with brain cancer. And, and, that had to, and that all that had to weigh on him and be very, very tough. Um, and we all know about, about his involvement in Burisma, uh, and um, using his father's name, the Biden name, to uh, get into positions of, uh, of power and uh, money that, frankly, he only got into because his last name was Biden. All that stuff's really, really apparent, really obvious. There's no, no really question about all that. Uh, although the left would have you believe that all of that is sort of in flux and in, qu and in question when it is truly not. Uh, as a compassionate person, um, I think it's awful that uh, he went through this drug abuse. Uh, you know, when he made a joke about it, and, then th and, and this stuck with me, and he said, I probably snorted more Parmesan cheese than any human alive um, while he was looking for crack. And that's one of those things that, ha that, that happens to people. They, I mean, they, they become scavengers. They become, you know, animals in that sense because they are looking for the drug and... Um, that's where he ended up being, and they put him in a bad place. Uh, that's where the laptop from hell came from. Yes, we all know that the laptop from hell, the very piece of equipment, the very thing that a lot of us were uh, banned from even talking about or, or reporting or commenting on because it was supposed to be Russian disinformation and between the, the White House and the Department of Justice and, and social media, uh, the big the social media, um, we, people lost their, their accounts uh, and lo lost their monetization on YouTube. All sorts of things happened. Well, when this laptop now was the uh, Exhibit A in this trial, the one that was rushing this information. Yes, I know all that. And so do you. But something occurred to me this morning as I'm as I'm tooling through all my my, my sources, um, the reaction of some Democrats at this point. Um, one of the reactions is from your girl, and and, and she is your girl. She is. She is. I. How would I know this? Because I assigned her to you. <laughs> is Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Here's, here's, uh, here's, here's her reaction, here's her quote. What would Republicans point to as a two-tier justice system uh, when the president's son was just convicted of a crime? I mean, if anything, this shows the difference that Democrats are willing to accept when our justice system works as functioned and as designed, she claims. Adding that, we are not here contesting the results. We're not here trying to de defund the FBI. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Shh. I know, I know, I, I know, I, I urge you. Uh, or the Department of Justice, because we don't like the outcome of a given trial, we respect the, judi the judicial process. Consider this for me for a second. Do you think, because I certainly got this gut feeling that in this particular case that's probably just going to end up with a big fine 
I think the the the, the, the penalty could be twenty five years in jail, which I don't think Hunter is going to go to jail for twenty five years. I just I, or, or or two days, let alone twenty five years. Um, but there but there can be a cash penalty of three quarters of a million dollars. Now, do you think that raising seven hundred fifty thousand dollars is going to be it's going to be trouble for the Biden machine, for the left machine, for the Democrat machine? Do you really think that raising a quarter million, three quarters of a million dollars, is going to be a problem for them? Huh? I don't think so. You can also get nine years of un, uh, excuse me, of supervised release, which means it's, it's probation. It's going to be some combination of fine and probation. Uh, Hunter Biden is go isn't going to spend a second in jail. There'll be no, there'll be you know, there'll be no video of him in the orange jump jumpsuit being frog marched into federal prison. That's not going to happen. It just isn't going to happen. But do you think that he was sacrificed? Because nothing really bad is going to happen to him. He's still going to be a Biden. Right? Do you think he was sacrificed? So now, the left can say, See, this, this, there's no such thing as a two-tier ju justice system. The president's son was just convicted of a, a, of a crime. And he's a, he's a convicted felon too, see? So you all have to stop saying that. Yeah, y'all can stop saying that when people who have been who, who who committed basically misdemeanors are still stuck in in jail for I mean I've been there since for two years for walking into the Capitol or just being at the Capitol on, on that January sixth day. Yeah, you can you you, you can stop saying there's a there's a two-tiered system of justice when that happens. You can say there's a two, you can stop saying there's a two-tiered justice system uh, when a 75-year-old woman gets gets two years in jail for, post, for for protesting outside of an abortion clinic in in, in D.C. They're going to put this 75-year-old woman in jail for two years, not probation, not a fine. She's getting jail time. That's when you. That's when you can tell me that, that there's a. Uh, you, you, you can you can come at me with there's no two tier justice system when this old woman is being put in jail for protesting outside of an abortion clinic. Hunter is the sacrificial lamb for this, and is in and, and it. It is the sickness, and the terribleness of this regime. I'm, you, you know, I've mentioned a bunch of times that I think what the left and Jill Biden, Jill Biden, this is on you. I wouldn't be surprised if she, if she was behind this too. Uh, your husband is obviously not well. And I hope, I don't believe it's true though, that you have, that you have said to him privately, Joe, this is enough. It's enough. You don't have to run for president. You don't have to do this, Joe. It's enough. You don't have to. You, you don't have to run again. You don't. You don't have. You, you don't have to. It's enough. Your husband's not well, and he could, I don't know, die in office. He could, you know that office, you know, for for a healthy person is uh, is rough. So why would you allow this, Jill Biden? So it, it, you know, after seeing that, it wouldn't surprise me a bit, frankly, that you would allow your son to be sacrificed for the cause. That you would just allow your son to be sacrificed for the cause. It's in, it's insane to me. He's come back a long way. 
I mean, this is this is bad. No doubt. He's come back a long way, and you know, and and hopefully, and hopefully, and I really do. I I I, I really hope that. Um, he's off the he's you know he's off the drugs, and now he's just sort of still dealing with some of the aftermath of that time. You know, I hope he's clean. Hope he's hope he's clean and sober, and I hope he stays that way. I you know I can't imagine anybody being happy or giddy with someone who is hooked on drugs that way. And and and, and the thing is that, that you see, you know, what happens to a person, and then having to live that out loud in front of the entire world, which doesn't, which obviously doesn't help, right? Most of us are, most of us are blessed that we don't have to, that we didn't have to live our life out, our lives out in public for the entire world to comment on. I don't think most of us could stand the scrutiny. I really don't. I, think, I don't think most of us could stand the scrutiny. But in this particular instance, I think that this man is being, I don't know, sacrificed at this point, to a degree, for the cause. Now, he may or may not be a willing participant in it. I don't know. I mean, he's grown up in it. He may understand that, that that's the only way forward. That he has to sacrifice himself at this point. That he owes it somehow to the thing. You know, the thing. Whatever it is, I think it's horrible. I think it's absolutely terrible. And, um, Listen, do me a favor. If um, we're looking, we're using the vMix program uh, because it's very, very handy and it's very, very powerful. Uh, but it's kind of expensive for us. Kind of expensive for us. Uh, we can't raise the three quarters of a million dollars and just buy whatever we want. Uh, we cannot. But um, so we're, we're, we're going to ask for some help. Uh, and if you are willing to help, Let's see here if I can get both of these things on the screen at the same time. You see, this is what it allows allows us to do, and we can do it in real time and not in post. So, if you will, there you go. Uh, this T-shirt is available at Teesprings. There you go. At the gear shop at Teespring. There we go. Outrage is my love language. I don't know what that funny that came to me. I don't know. And you can you can get that here. So if you would do that, every single dollar goes into the thing here that we're doing. None of it goes to my vacation, because as you know, I don't get vacations. Uh, the, only, the last time I had a vacation was at um, Thanksgiving, and it was at Advent Hospital, and I don't want those kind of vacations anymore. Uh, no summer vacations for me. In any case, if you would help us out there. Uh, you can go to the, uh, the the address that's really that's right here on the bottom of the screen. That would be very very helpful. All right, we got to get out of here. Make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness' sake, y'all take care of yourself. We will see you when we see you. Bye bye now.